Let's now create the extractor. I'm going to hit R for rectangle and select this face. Left click. I'm going to zoom in here and drop my first point here. Next point here. Hitting escape and hitting D to grab our dimension. Selecting this horizontal edge and our horizontal line. I'm going to drop our dimension here. I'm going to key in point 2. Next, selecting this line and this edge. Dropping our dimension here. So this is currently highlighted. Now I'm going to select this dimension. Left click. So now both of them are equal. Hitting enter. And hitting escape. Going to constraints and selecting our horizontal vertical. Selecting the point where our arc and our line meets. So this is the point and selecting this point hitting escape and hitting e to grab our extrude tool selecting this profile i'm going to rotate and grab our blue arrow now for the distance i'm going to type in negative 15 and for the operation i'm going to select new body hitting ok so notice on our bodies folder we have now body 8. I'm going to rename this one by double clicking as extractor. Hitting enter. Next, I'm going to select this face and right click and select create sketch. So now I'm going to go to our sketch palette and select slice. So notice what the slice does. So to go back to our previous view, I'm going to select look at or top view. Now I'm going to zoom in here. I'm going to hit L to grab our line and place my first point here. Left click here. So left click at this end point and left click at this point. Hitting escape. So now we have created a triangle. Now I'm going to zoom in here. So this is currently in perpendicular, meaning this is horizontal. I'm going to hit D to grab our dimension, selecting this edge and this line. I'm going to drop our dimension here. I'm going to key in 4. Hitting escape, inspecting. So now I'm going to hit E to grab extrude and select this profile. Left click. I'm going to go to home view and zoom in. Grabbing our uh, arrow, creating a cut operation. Now I'm going to go to Extents and grab 2. And select this bottom face. So left click this one first, then left click this face. And finally hit OK. So inspecting our drawing, we have an additional protrusion here. I'm going to go to our bodies folder and turn off the visibility of slider. And I'm going to rotate. I'm going to select this face and create a sketch. So next, I'm going to hit C for a circle. I'm going to drop our circle here. So my guesstimate is 8. Hitting enter. Now inspecting. Next, I'm going to hit P for project and project this edge, hitting OK. I'd like this center point to be aligned horizontally. I'm going to hit S to grab our sketch toolbox, typing in PO and selecting point, dropping our point at our midpoint, hitting escape. And going to constraints, selecting horizontal, vertical, selecting our center point and our midpoint. Now going to left view and hitting D, selecting this edge and our circle. I'm going to key in 2, hitting enter. And now I'm going to hit E for extrude. Selecting this profile and this profile. Now for the direction, I'm going to change it to two side. 
I'm going to drag this one here and change our, our operation to join. Now, rotating. I'm going to move this one up to here and this one up to here. So I'm going to make this first distance to be 4. And at the back, I'm going to hit 8.5. Finally, hitting OK. Next, I'm going to hit F to grab our fillet. I'm going to select this edge, this edge, this edge, and this edge. Now, the radius to be 0.5. Next, I'm going to hold my control key and select this edges. This edge, hitting control. Selecting this edge, this edge, this edge, this edge, this one, this one. So, take note. Remember to hold control and finally this edge. So hitting OK and turning on the visibility of our slider, going to right view. So looking good.